in the quaint, seemingly tranquil town of Everwood, where tradition holds sway and change is met with skepticism, resides 19-year-old Aiden. A student at the local community college, Aiden leads a life that outwardly mirrors the conservative values of his surroundings, yet beneath this conventional exterior lies a rich, private world filled with color, texture, and the soft rustle of silk and satin. From a tender age, Aiden had always been drawn to the allure of feminine clothing. It began with the innocent curiosity of a child, those moments spent marveling at the elegance of his mother's dresses as they swayed gently in the breeze of a half-open wardrobe. The memory of his first clandestine encounter with those fabrics was vivid in his mind. It was a quiet afternoon, the kind where the sunlight tiptoes through lace curtains painting soft patterns on the walls. With his mother at work and his younger brother, only eight at the time, absorbed in a noisy battalion of action figures, Aiden had ventured into his mother's room. There, enveloped by the sanctity of the softly lit chamber, he had reached out with trembling hands and touched the fabric of a pale blue dress. The material was cool and smooth, whispering promises as it slipped through his fingers. Compelled by a force he couldn't understand, Aiden had slipped the dress over his head. The fabric cascaded down his body, settling with a perfect, comforting weight around his feet. In the mirror, a different version of himself stared back, a version that felt more authentic than he could have imagined. This secret exploration became a pivotal cornerstone of Aiden's life. As the years slipped by, his fascination only deepened. He began to assemble a hidden collection of his own, a treasure trove of feminine attire that he kept meticulously organized in a locked trunk beneath his bed. This collection grew from the few pieces of clothing he dared to take from his mother's closet to a thoughtful assortment of items he had purchased online with money saved from part-time jobs. His collection was diverse, chiffon blouses in soft pastels, skirts that ranged from demure pencil styles to flowing maxis, delicate lace undergarments that were never meant to be hidden under the dull hues of men's clothing, and accessories that sparkled with understated elegance. Each piece was selected with a palpable sense of purpose and passion, each addition a further step toward expressing the identity he held secret. Living with his mother, a kind but traditional woman, and his now teenage brother, who had grown into the typical sports enthusiast with little interest in the nuances of fabric and fashion, Aiden was always cautious. His moments of true self-expression were confined to those precious hours when solitude was guaranteed, his mother at her nursing shifts, and his brother at baseball practice. During these stolen moments, Aiden's room transformed into a private sanctuary where he could experiment with makeup, trying to capture the essence of the looks he admired in online tutorials. His hands, though initially clumsy with eyeliner and shadow, gradually learned the art of blending and contouring, adding depth and emotion to his face, reflecting the vibrant persona of Elena that he kept shielded from the outside world. This double life, however, bore the weight of constant vigilance and the muted fear of discovery. Each creak of the house's old bones, each unexpected return of a family member, sent a jolt of panic through Aiden, often forcing him to abandon his transformation midway and revert to the nondescript son and brother his family recognized. Yet, despite the risks, the feeling of rightness that enveloped him when he donned his carefully curated wardrobe, when he saw Elena looking back at him from the mirror, was undeniable. It was a confirmation of identity, a silent affirmation that beneath the conventional expectations of the small town of Everwood, there thrived a more complex, beautifully unique individual. The hours when Aiden's house lay quiet and empty were sacred. They were rare and precious, those fleeting moments when he could discard the mask of everyday expectations and embrace the truth of his identity. As soon as he heard the sound of the car pulling away and the finality of the door clicking shut, his heart would begin to race with anticipation and a tingling sense of freedom. First, Aiden would ensure his privacy by double-checking all the locks on the doors and drawing the curtains tightly across the windows. He couldn't risk the prying eyes of nosy neighbors or an unexpected visit shattering his secret world. With the house secured, he would ascend to his room, the sanctuary where Elena could emerge without fear. Inside his room, 
which was meticulously kept and ordinary to any observer, Aydin had ingeniously modified his wardrobe to conceal a false back panel. Behind this panel lay his treasures, rows of dresses, blouses, skirts, and high-heeled shoes, all organized by color and occasion. The bottom drawer was devoted to makeup and wigs, each item carefully selected over years of covert exploration and online shopping. Aydin would begin his transformation by selecting an outfit. Depending on his mood, he might choose a bright floral sundress that swung playfully around his knees, or perhaps a chic, figure-hugging velvet dress that spoke of elegant evenings out. Each choice was a piece of the puzzle that was Elena, a reflection of her style and mood. Once dressed, Aiden would sit at the small vanity in his room, a piece of furniture he'd convinced his mother was just for practical purposes, somewhere to organize his studies and personal grooming products. The surface, however, told a different story. It was scattered with brushes, palettes of eyeshadow, tubes of mascara, and bottles of foundation. Aiden had taught himself the art of makeup through countless hours spent watching tutorials by beauty influencers who transformed themselves before his eyes. He studied their techniques, mesmerized by their skill in accentuating the soft curves of their faces or the bold lines of their eyes. With a steady hand, Aiden would apply foundation, enjoying the smooth canvas it created. He learned to contour his jawline and cheeks, softening his features to reveal Elena's face in the mirror. Eyeshadow came next, sometimes a subtle blend of earth tones, other times a daring splash of color. Eyeliner, mascara, and finally lipstick completed the look, each step in the process not just a change in appearance, but a deeper affirmation of his identity. Hair was the final act of transformation. Aiden's collection of wigs, carefully washed, combed, and stored on mannequin heads, offered a variety of looks, whether it was a long curls cascading down his shoulders or a stylish bob that framed his face perfectly, each wig had the power to dramatically shift his reflection, bringing Elena fully to life. With his transformation complete, Aiden would spend hours in his sanctuary. He practiced walking in high heels, sashaying back and forth across the room with increasing confidence. He'd pose in front of his full-length mirror, practicing expressions and gestures, fully embracing the joy of his femininity. But as Aiden's confidence as Elena grew, so too did his desires and dreams. The confines of his room and the limits of his current wardrobe began to feel restrictive. He longed to explore more adventurous, more expressive outfits that reflected the latest trends he saw online. His heart would race with excitement as he browsed online boutiques, imagining himself in chic cocktail dresses or casual yet feminine ensembles perfect for a day out. As his collection expanded with parcels arriving discreetly packaged, so did his vision for Elena. Each new piece of clothing, each accessory, was a step towards a broader horizon, a world where Elena could exist beyond the walls of his room. This growing collection was not just fabric and thread, it was the armor and the accolade for his journey towards self-acceptance and the hopeful possibility of one day bringing Elena into the sunlight. One crisp autumn afternoon, as leaves painted the ground in hues of amber and crimson, a close call nearly unraveled Aiden's carefully guarded world. His younger brother, Jake, was typically more interested in sports than in his brother's affairs, but curiosity can strike at any age, especially at 14. On this day, their mother had tasked Jake with retrieving an old family photo album from Aiden's room, where it was stored under his bed for safekeeping. Jake, unaware of the significance of his errand, rummaged through the underbed storage, pushing aside boxes until his hand brushed against the unusual texture of chiffon and lace. Intrigued, he tugged at the hidden panel that Aiden thought was secure. The panel gave way slightly, revealing a sliver of the secret world behind it. Just as Jake was about to pull it open fully, Aiden entered the room. With his heart thundering in his chest, Aiden masked his panic with a casual tone. Hey Jake, mom said she'd get it later. She needs us to help with the groceries first. His quick thinking diverted his brother's attention and the moment passed without further threat. However, the risk of discovery had shaken Aiden deeply, igniting within him a mixture of fear and a burning realization that his double life could not remain confined to the shadows of his room forever. This incident, while frightening, 
paradoxically fueled Aiden's resolve to bring Elena into the light of day. He spent the following weeks meticulously planning his first public outing. He chose a simple yet chic ensemble that would not stand out too much in the conservative town of Everwood, but would still celebrate Elena's sense of style. The outfit was a beautiful, flowy pastel sundress that danced gently around his knees, paired with sensible flats perfect for walking and discreet makeup that highlighted his features without drawing too much attention. Aiden waited for the perfect day, a weekday when most of the town would be at work or school and the streets quieter than usual. He watched from his window, observing the rhythms of his neighbors, noting when they left for work, when they walked their dogs, when they returned. He needed to understand the patterns of the community to minimize the risk of being recognized. Finally, the day arrived. It was a mild, sunny day, the sky a clear blue, and the streets promising the quiet he needed. His mother was at work and his brother at school. The neighborhood was still, save for the occasional rustle of leaves and the distant bark of a dog. With his heart pounding with both excitement and fear, Aiden transformed into Elena. He dressed carefully, adjusting his sundress and ensuring his makeup was flawless but understated. He styled his wig, a soft brunette bob that framed his face gently, and stepped into his flats. Before leaving, he spent a long moment in front of the mirror, taking deep, steadying breaths. Elena looked back at him, a picture of quiet confidence and nervous anticipation. Aiden's hand lingered on the doorknob, his mind racing with both the thrill of the moment and the fear of the unknown. Could he really walk through his neighborhood dressed as Elena? The fear of discovery, of ridicule, or worse, tightened his chest. Yet beneath that fear was a compelling urge for freedom, an essential need to be his true self, if only for a brief walk on a quiet day. Gathering every ounce of courage, Aiden opened the door. The outside world greeted Elena with a gentle breeze and the soft warmth of the sun. With each step, she felt a mix of vulnerability and exhilaration, her senses acutely aware of every sound, every movement around her. As she walked toward the boundary of her familiar world, each step felt like both a defiance of and a reconciliation with the life she had always known. Each step was a step towards freedom. As Aiden, now Elena, closed the front door softly behind her, a surge of conflicting emotions cascaded through her. The crisp, fresh air felt like a new beginning, tinged with the sharp edge of vulnerability. With each step towards her car, her heart beat a rapid, syncopated rhythm, echoing her mix of excitement and fear. The world outside seemed both incredibly vast and intimidatingly observant. Yet, as she moved unnoticed, her confidence began to bud. No turned heads, no whispered comments. The simple act of walking to her car, a mundane task she had done a thousand times as Aiden, now felt like an act of quiet rebellion and personal triumph. Elena drove not to the nearby gas station, as originally planned, but to a remote cafe known for its secluded charm and quiet clientele. It was a place she had often passed but never entered, a small establishment nestled on the outskirts of Everwood. As she parked the car, her nerves fluttered at the thought of stepping into a public space, fully embodying her identity as Elena. The cafe's rustic door creaked softly as she entered, the smell of coffee and pastries welcoming her. The cozy interior was busier than she had hoped, with several tables occupied by familiar faces, students from her college engrossed in conversation or study. The immediate urge to flee washed over her, a tide pulling her towards the safety of anonymity. She turned to leave, her heart pounding louder than the gentle hum of the cafe. However, just as she reached the door, a voice called out, Hey, are you new around here? It was Natalie, a classmate from her psychology class, her eyes curious and friendly. Elena froze, caught in the act of escaping. Her mind raced. Natalie didn't recognize her as Aiden. Instead, she saw a new girl, a stranger to this small community. Elena managed a hesitant smile and nodded. Yeah, just moved here. Her voice, practiced and soft, carried a hint of nervousness that she hoped sounded like the natural timidity of meeting someone new. Natalie's smile widened, and she gestured to an empty chair at her table. Why don't you join me? I'm Natalie. It's always nice to see a new face around. 
Grateful for the invitation yet still trembling inside, Elena joined her. The conversation that unfolded was surprisingly easy. Natalie was genuinely interested in fashion, a passion she shared eagerly as they discussed everything from the latest trends to timeless styles. Elena found herself relaxing, drawn into the discussion with growing enthusiasm. As they talked, not once did Natalie suspect that the poised young woman before her was actually her quiet classmate, Aiden. Encouraged by Natalie's openness and the normalcy of their interaction, Elena's visits to the cafe became more frequent. With each visit, she shed a layer of her initial apprehension, replacing it with a fabric of confidence. She experimented with her fashion, each outfit a bold statement of her identity, and with her makeup, finding joy in the artistry of transformation. These cafe outings became a cherished part of her week. The freedom to be Elena without fear of judgment or discovery was exhilarating. She cherished the moments she could speak freely, laugh without reservation, and share parts of her personality that Aiden had always kept hidden. Natalie, for her part, remained blissfully unaware of Elena's true identity, but her friendship offered something invaluable, a sense of acceptance and normalcy. This unexpected bond, rooted in mistaken identity but blossoming into genuine connection, helped pave the way for Elena to consider more public appearances and broader horizons. Each successful outing fortified her courage, gradually painting her world with the vibrant colors of possibility and hope. As the weeks passed, Elena's presence at the cafe became a regular occurrence, and she grew to be a well-liked figure among the regular patrons. Her infectious enthusiasm for fashion and a natural knack for engaging conversations endeared her to many. However, with this growing popularity came increased visibility, and with it, heightened risks. Aiden's dual existence, so carefully managed and balanced, began to teeter on the brink of exposure. One particular afternoon, as Elena was deep in discussion about the merits of sustainable fashion with a group at her favorite corner table, she noticed another college classmate, Mark, enter the cafe. Mark was an acquaintance to Aiden, not particularly close, but familiar enough to recognize him under normal circumstances. As Mark scanned the cafe, his gaze lingered on Elena, a flicker of recognition, or was it confusion, crossing his features. Elena's heart sank. The fear that had prickled at the back of her mind now surged forward, insistent and alarming. For a long moment, Mark seemed to wrestle with his thoughts, his eyes narrowing slightly as he tried to place the familiar stranger before him. Ultimately, he shook his head slightly and continued on his way to order, dismissing the nagging thought. Elena let out a breath she hadn't realized she was holding, but the scare was a glaring red flag. The boundaries between her two worlds were blurring, and the potential for them to collide loomed ominously close. Tormented by the incident, Aiden spent the following days in turmoil. He contemplated the possibility of discontinuing his outings as Elena, the thought of which filled him with a profound sense of loss. These outings were no longer just escapades. They were vital expressions of his identity, moments where he felt most authentic and alive. The prospect of suppressing Elena again was akin to losing a part of himself. However, fate intervened before he could make a decision. One evening, his mother, while cleaning, came across a receipt for makeup that Aiden had accidentally left in his jeans pocket. When confronted, Aiden saw the worry and confusion in his mother's eyes, and something within him clicked. The weight of hiding and the fear of discovery had become too burdensome. It was time for honesty, for openness, despite the tremors of fear that such a confession evoked. Gathering his mother and brother in the living room, Aiden stood before them, his heart pounding a frantic rhythm. With a voice that trembled but grew steadier with every word, he began to share his story. He spoke of Elena, of the freedom and joy she brought him, of the fear of rejection that had kept him silent. He shared his experiences, his fears, and his hopes. The room was heavy with silence as he finished. His mother, tears brimming in her eyes, rose slowly. The distance between them felt like miles until her arms wrapped around him, pulling him into an embrace that spoke volumes. I just want you to be happy, to be yourself, whoever that may be she whispered. His younger brother's reaction was one of confusion and concern, but not rejection. 
I don't get it all, but I've got your back, he said after a pause, an awkward but sincere attempt at support. Revealed and vulnerable, yet embraced and accepted, Aiden felt a weight lift off his shoulders. The path ahead would not be without its challenges, but the foundation of his family's love and acceptance gave him the courage to envision a future where Aiden and Elena could coexist, not just in the shadows, but in the full spectrum of his life. This moment marked not an end, but a new beginning, a chance to live openly as his whole self, supported by those he loved most. With the foundation of his family's support now beneath him, Aiden felt a newfound confidence in merging his two worlds, bringing Elena into the broader daylight of his everyday life. This decision marked a pivotal chapter in Aiden's journey, one that he approached with both excitement and the inevitable nerves that come with stepping into uncharted territory. Aiden's mother, once over the initial shock, became an unexpected ally in his exploration of femininity. Together, they would spend evenings discussing fashion, and she even assisted him in selecting outfits that flattered his frame, teaching him the subtle arts of accessorizing and styling. Her support was gentle and unobtrusive, providing Aiden with the emotional scaffolding needed to expand Elena's presence in his life. His brother, though less involved in the nuances of fashion and makeup, made his own contributions by ensuring Aiden felt safe and supported at home. He started to stand up more for LGBTQ plus issues among his friends, educating himself and others, which helped to foster a supportive atmosphere in the family. Motivated by his family's acceptance and support, Aiden saw an upcoming college event, an art exhibit followed by a poetry reading, as the perfect opportunity to introduce Elena more publicly. It was a relatively low-key event, focusing on themes of expression and identity, which provided a fitting backdrop for his intentions. Before the event, Aiden discussed his plans with Natalie, who had become not just a cafe acquaintance, but a true friend. Natalie was thrilled at the prospect and immediately offered her support, suggesting they go together. She helped Aiden pick out an outfit that was subtly feminine, suggesting a tasteful blend of male and female attire that would allow Aiden to present as Elena without overwhelming him. They chose a soft patterned blouse and tailored pants, complemented by light makeup and a pair of simple, elegant flats. On the day of the event, the mixture of anticipation and anxiety was palpable. As Aiden prepared, he found himself reflecting on the journey that had brought him to this moment, the secrecy and solitude now giving way to openness and community. With each brushstroke of makeup, with each piece of clothing, he felt more prepared, more himself. Walking into the event, Aiden, partially as Elena, felt the eyes of many attendees upon him. The whispers that followed were met with mixed feelings, but the presence of Natalie and a few other supportive friends provided a buffer, making him feel seen and appreciated for who he truly was. The art exhibit, with its bold expressions and raw emotive works, seemed to mirror the bold step Aiden was taking in his own life. As the evening progressed, Aiden felt increasingly at ease. The poetry reading, which featured themes of identity, self-acceptance, and defiance against societal norms, resonated deeply with him. When a poet spoke of the courage it takes to be oneself in a judgmental world, Aiden felt a surge of pride. He was living that truth, right there, surrounded by art and poetry that celebrated such bravery. The event concluded with a round of applause, not just for the artists and poets, but for every individual's story and struggle, including his own silent victories. Walking out of the college hall, Aiden felt a significant shift within him. No longer confined by fear, Elena was now a part of his visible identity, an integral aspect of his expression shared with the world. This moment of integration marked not just a step towards personal authenticity for Aiden, but also a broader impact on his peers, prompting discussions and a gradual shift in perceptions within his college community. Aiden's journey, shared openly, became a beacon for others wrestling with their identities, proving the transformative power of acceptance and the profound impact of living one's truth openly. As the college event drew to a close and the last of the applause faded into the night, Aiden found himself in a reflective state, the echoes of the evening resonating deeply within him. 
Standing slightly apart from the dispersing crowd, he allowed himself a moment of introspection, pondering the winding path that had brought him to this point of acceptance and expression. The challenges had been many, fear of rejection, the risk of losing those he loved, and the daunting prospect of integrating his identity in a community not known for its progressiveness. Yet, as he stood there, partially Elena, partially Aiden, he felt a burgeoning sense of wholeness that he had never experienced before. This event was not just an outing, it was a declaration, a subtle yet profound announcement of his dual identity to the world. Back home, as the adrenaline of the night began to ebb, Aiden took to his journal, a practice he had maintained since he first began exploring his identity as Elena. It was here, in the quiet of his room, that he documented his fears, his milestones, and now, his victories. Tonight was a step, a big one, he wrote. I was me, more fully me than I've ever been in public. And it felt right, scary, but right. Aiden's journey had not only changed him, but had also touched the lives of those around him. His mother, initially shocked, had grown into one of his staunchest supporters, her love unwavering and her acceptance a constant source of strength. His brother, too, had shifted from confused silence to active allyship. Their bond deepened through honest conversations and shared experiences. Looking forward, Aiden was aware that the road ahead would not be without its bumps. Acceptance was not universal, and prejudice still lurked in corners of his world. However, the fear that once governed his decisions now took a back seat to the courage and support he had garnered. The next steps involved not just more public appearances as Elena, but also advocating for greater acceptance and understanding within his community. He envisioned participating in more events, perhaps even organizing discussions or workshops on gender identity and expression at his college. Aiden also saw himself traveling, experiencing different cultures and climates, both as Aiden and Elena, each journey adding layers to his understanding of himself and the world. Socially, Aiden planned to expand his circle, reaching out to others who were navigating their paths through similar challenges. The cafe, once a sanctuary for his budding identity, could become a hub for gatherings, a place for sharing stories and support. Financially and practically, there were considerations too. Aiden planned to explore career options that embraced diversity, perhaps in fields related to fashion, art, or advocacy, areas where he could express his creativity and commitment to diversity and inclusion. As he closed his journal, Aiden felt a profound gratitude for the tapestry of support that framed his life, from his family's unconditional love to the new friendships that celebrated every facet of his identity. He was ready to face the future with a hopeful heart and an open mind, knowing that each step forward was a step toward broader horizons, deeper understanding, and a fuller expression of the unique person he was meant to be.